North South. A very extremely apologetic and delayed shoe here. I am so sorry about, uh, for one, being late to when I usually start streaming, and two, taking so much time for this stream to actually even start. For some reason, the phone keeps ringing with important calls that I've been waiting for the entire day, the moment I'm about to begin. Convenient, I know, right. But anyway, no excuses. I promise this is not a story I have made up at all. Instead, we're just going to go straight into Dawn of the Dead. Because that, that is the best way to deal with it. I've taken so much time away, so we might as well just do the case immediately, where I will have forgotten all of the voices and probably give some horrid voices to all of the characters. As I do. The chief summoned us all to the debriefing room about a code red citywide issue. Has has a mafia mob died or something? Or rather been resurrected? Dawn of the dead, you see. Wait, is it gonna rain? This is very important. I need it to rain. I I can't deal with detective work if it doesn't rain. Oh right, I have to remember the police. People's voices. Ah, uh, no, my king's there, not my king. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Chief Scully, is everyone here? Good. They are right all over the city. So it's all hands on deck. That means you do, McLean. Time to do some real police work. Are you sure your iffy stomach is able to is able for it? Blow, blow, McLean. Blow, blow. You two, stop it. Officer Murakami was wounded in the field, but he's been cleared by medical to give us a briefing on what's happening out there. Thanks, Chief. Guys, I've not seen anything like it before. Hordes of angry citizens shambling around, attacking one another and smashing up the place. It all seems so mindless. We don't know what's causing this behaviour, but we need to get to... But we need to get out there and stop it. Be careful out there, and good luck. What? Dismissed. So, uh... Anyone... Gonna do anything, or... Are we just gonna stand there? I mean, the siren's going off. That's the exit. I might as well look at the TV. Brickman here, reporting live from City Hall, where I, Drick Brickman, am slowly being approached by a hungry-looking politician. Mr. Politician, I'll report suggesting that the city is in a state of panic, can I get the response? <laughs> Same old party line, when will, all, when will these politicians liven up their acts? Local cat saves fireman from tree. As they do. Property prices soar as previous owners return, resulting in evictions across the city. It's going a bit too slow for my personal opinion, huh? Let's give it a. McBurger reports spike in requests for brain meat. Ah, I see. Okay, McBurger should probably take a look at that. That's probably not good. City Hall productivity levels reach record high. Hold on. Are you up to date with the latest fashion trends? Well, are you? I'm not. I have a coat. 
Old moldy clothes are in while looking alive is out. Just look at this politician. It's rotting. There we have a cat again. Okay, I need to read this one, but not word by word. Property prices soar as previous owners returns, resulting in evictions. Ah, across the city. Now I see. Okay, okay. Um, apart from the cat one, which I do prefer, of all those news, that is the most important. I should probably leave this TV. It's loud. I I'm gonna deal with you later. Apart from the cat saving a fireman from the tree, all of the other ones very much indicate that, yeah, there's some undead rotten stuff going on in the world. That's fine. Is everyone here? Oh, wait, am I... Oh, wait. we're just back to that one because I left the TV. Okay. Whiteboard. According to this, the entire city is in a state of panic. Arrests, hospitalizations, collateral damage, and purchase of spooky soundtracks are all up. The last one is the most concerning, because why do you buy spooky soundtrack when it's naturally occurring during these days? It's a terrible business decision. My name is next to the museum, a shop downtown, and the old mafia mansion. Looks like it's going to be a busy day. Oh, right, that's what I'm going to de be dealing with. Of course, send the paranormal <coughs> dark side division to deal with a museum. A shop downtown. That, that's not actually that bad. And the old mafia mansion. Yes, just go there. Hmm. What could go wrong? Hello, new detective. I haven't seen you. New detective. My first day on the job and we got to tackle a ride. How exciting. Dan Bucks, the newbie doesn't make it through the day. Hey. I'll take that bet, my king. You'll do fine, detective. Actually, what's your name? Fish. Fresh fish. Oh, okay. Detective Fish. Hello, my king. I'll have a good ride. Nothing makes me happier than to get a, a bat and swinging practice in. That, that is... Um, now stop that. That is concerning. Murakami, how are you? How is your arm? I'll live thanks to... I live, thanks. Perp tried to bite me, but I got away. Crazy, right? Did he try to bite you, or did he bite you? Those are very different, Mr. Mirokami. How about you, Scully? Sorry, McQueen. I know this isn't your usual kind of case, but I need everybody out on the street for this. No problem, Chief. Happy to help. I mean, from my analysis, this seems to be right in my wheelbarrow or something like that. It's the kind of stuff I'd always do. I better get duly and hit the road. Most likely with a hammer or a car. Those are the more efficient road hitting appliances. The game froze. The game's back. Ah, I can choose. Hmm, yes. Downtown Chinatown. Chinatown, a museum or a mansion. This is going to be interesting, so I have these three spots to deal with this time. We go straight to the museum, because that's interesting. It's not raining! No! Why is the door smashed in? Looks like a break-in. Looters? Maybe. But they tend to go for televisions, not tapestries. Let's check it out. Hmm, posters. It seems there is an Egyptian-themed display in at the moment. Wooey! Those Egyptians were big! Those pictures aren't to scale. Oh. Are you certain? Uh, I knew that. Of course you did. How about a car? I think our car is... I think our car is old enough to be an exhibition here. You might be correct, Dooley. I don't like museums. They're just graveyards for old stuff. I... I never thought about it like that, but th that would indicate that old stuff is dead. And in the terms of, like, an automotive uh, museum, I can see that, because that is appliances we won't be using for the most part, apart from people who are really invested in using them. But just posters of people and 
Yeah, actually, I don't have anywhere I'm going with it. We're instead just going straight into the museum. Oh. Okay. After watching extensive historical footage, Twin Lakes researchers believe their be this beast escaped a Costa Rican theme park in the early 90s. Presumed cause of death is drowning, as its tiny arms wouldn't have been great for swimming to the mainland. Wow, the team there. Air must be top of their field. Right, yeah. They clearly did not just watch a very good movie. I am concerned about actually how professional people in this town are, but uh, nonetheless, it is an impressive specimen. There seems to be something stuck in there, but it's too far for me to reach. I'm gonna find something to reach it later. Prehistoric? Surely all history is historic. How could something happen before history? Well, it happens before written history. I guess. I honestly, I personally don't know when we split the prehistoric and historic periods, but we do it at some point. Ooh, anthropology. A tall skeleton. A short skeleton. A curiosity cat. We're taking a look at a tall skeleton. This is what a plastic skeleton looks like. Scientists think it may be what the human body was muddled on. Fascinating. Right. Okay. An ape. Probably. What a fine institute of learning this is. They are beyond our educational purpose, I believe. What do you think this room is anthropologizing for? I'm surprised I got that word in the first attempt, but I did. And I've never thought about the fact that anthropology just... Yeah, it's an apology. I'm so sorry. It's locked. I wonder if I can open it somehow. Let's go to ancient Egypt. Uh, why? What a nut. That looks like a mummy. Rare. Nope. I, I was going to speak to Dooley. Allow me to have a chat with Dooley. Boy, oh boy, those Egyptians really knew how to... Wait, I know this one. Uh, 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 that statue. Though, right, detective? Right, okay. Smash cabinet. Looks like some jewelry is missing. The plaque says, the gem of Osiris. Osiris? The Egyptian death god. I can't help but think that it's tied to what is going on across the city. I see someone has just put a curse on the entire city and resurrected all the dead. How convenient. This must be where that mummy came from. A scepter. A scepter? I didn't even know her! Wait, who are we talking about? A dually? Don't. Thank you. Don't happen. You'd have to be pretty sick to try swallowing that medicine. Duly, it is a stone tablet, not a medicine tablet. Nor is it an electronic tablet. Do you understand? Very well, we will take a look at a mummy. Ah, oh, I don't have the voice, sir. How convenient. I don't know how or why, but that thing must have come out of that sarcophagus. I better look for a way to lure it back in there. Duly, we will have to find some candy. But first off, I'm gonna poke this dinosaur. I wonder if I can use this to dislodge whatever he ate. Oh. I, I'm surprised they never noticed the bird bones. That must have been Tony Rex's last meal. You named him. Tony. The T has to stand for something. Right, T-Rex. Yes. Tony Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's just try and pick the lock with bones. This might work as a makeshift lock picking kit. A very fragile kit. Oh, cool. It actually is the thing. There's very convenient bone structures. 
Okay, I'm now starting to wonder if all of these three locations are like their own separate parts. Because if they are, I like that. Because then I don't have to deal with walking from the mansion to the museum to deal with solving things. Maybe if I match these bones to the tumblers in the lock, I'll be able to open these cabinets. Now, first up, we need this one, which would be a stop point followed by another point. I feel like it. I'm tempted on that one. That one feels most fitting for that. Hmm, that bone doesn't seem to fit. Maybe one of the other ones. Okay, it's not that one. This one that has a... That one? Yes, it was. Okay, okay. And then we have the trip trap pro. And then we have another staircase. But it... Ah, that staircase. No, not that staircase. Is it you? Doesn't make sense. It is you! Oh. Right, okay. I, I see what I've done wrong here. I thought of just putting them down. No, you... You're putting this piece into this area, it filling that square. So obviously that one goes there. And then this time we have this one put in there. Okay, I just had the wrong image of how to unlock a door. That seems to be it. Now to see what's inside. Oh dear. Let's take a look at small jars. I have nuked. There's an old note on the jars, burrowing for soup, will return ASAP. T. I have loot in soup, I see, okay. A collection of airwax gathered from the museum staff. Right. This seems to be filled with wasps. Living, angry wasps. That is a weapon of mass destruction. Right, let's go on. It's stuffed. Full of old invoices. Ah, I see, they don't want to pay. It contains a drawing of some jam. Ah, it's a jam jar. Some bad juju. Urine sample found on site. Why did you put it there? Okay. Use contact lenses. Is this just their, like, everything folder? A jar of pickled braids. I prefer pickled onions myself. Well, hmm. okay, currently I do not assume that a... Sorry, pickled brain, but I need to take care of some undead business. Yum. Okay, I was about to say that I don't assume that the mummy would go for the brain, but this is technically not a mummy, it is a zombie. Who has been stereotyped as a brain-craving being. The mummies are more of a more cursed in a different sense, they don't tend to go for brains to my knowledge. But apparently this one does, and he is easily tricked. What an idiot. There's a case closed pun in there. There's a case closed pun in here somewhere, but there's just no time. I don't think we'll find anything else for no turn. Let's go get to Let's go to the next here. Let's get to the next frame scene. That was really hard to do. Okay, the museum is finished. We're going to Chinatown, leaving the mansion with Don for the end. This is where you got McNugget's retirement on. Yes, this is the place we were earlier, isn't it? What a fun party! We spent the entire time chasing around monsters, specifically goblins of sorts. Gremlins. Gremlins it was, yes. I remember it, because one of them tried to shoot us. Chasing memories, you mean? Duly... If it weren't for the fact that it's quite illegal, and I do actually care for you quite a lot, I would probably hurt you. It's actually painted onto the building. The mayor figured it was cheaper than building and, ma and maintaining real drains. I mean, it is. You just have to deal with paint now. Looks like we're barred from her, Dooley. I don't get it. It's a window, not a club. It was... Uh, never mind. When I finally tried to do a good pun, Dooley just rats it away. There's a stringless tennis racket in her. Convenient. I now have a weapon. There's nothing else in her but takeout containers and dirty magazines. Huh? 
A deep clean. Ah. Oh. oh, so dirty. Just look at all that smudge. But that's what you want to see a maid doing. Back alley mystic shops are never run by McGillicuddy or Sanchez, are they? It's always just wags. Something like that. I would love to see McGillicuddy's. I thought this place had a layer of dry ice adding to the mystery, but now I see it's a uh, crack in our exhaust pipe. We need to get that fixed. Hopefully we're gonna get it fixed by the time we get to the mansion. I can't make out anything inside, but these flyers advertise some local businesses. The grain distribution company, Howlin' Out. Howlin' Out. Yeah, that means that it makes sense. They're hauling out. The sanctuary for sensory deprived animals. Deaf leopards. Nice. And a shop I buy my coats in. Police wool. Max. The best shop, I might add. Duly. I wonder if I can get some other shopping in while we're here. Right, um, sure. Are those paws? Nah, nah, they, they, they couldn't be. Of course not. Help! I'm trapped! Get rid of them! Um. Let's take a look around. Ooh, I get money, can it go? Give my current predicament, I'm starting to think none of these lucky charms work. Crystals used for some form of healing, I guess. Ow! Sharp! Huh, that might be useful. Huh, uh, uh, just this. I think I'll try something else. Okay, yeah, that. No. Fair enough. No a lantern. Nice lanterns. A shop like this runs an ambience. 80% of all sales are because customers can't see what they're buying. Efficient. Buy a buy the stuff these people believe in, eh? Dooley, how much have you bought and remember what division we're in? This is literally our job. Is that skull real? That's the skull of the previous shop owner. Her will stipulated I keep it on display at all times. Okay. I mean, we can't go against the will. Various books on positive living, feng shui, and harnessing the energy of the secret hell beast to control your enemies. Wait, what? What's happening? I just realized that he, he is right there. Let's ignore him for a little bit more. What's this? Chinese puzzle box. I can't figure out how to open it. No idea what's inside. I want it. Do you take card? Yes, I have a machine out back for skimming them. Just tell me your pin number. Well, that all sounds perfectly legitimate to me. Your dream catcher. A dream catcher used for trapping nightmares may be useful in the sniper. Can I? The rope is too tight. I need to loosen it up somehow. I can use the sharp edge to cut the dream catcher off. Oh. It's a bit loose for a game of squash, don't you think? Ah, oh, I made a net. Okay, I just thought it would be nice to combine these things. Oh, they're undead trinkets, I see. Tapestry. That's pretty. You should buy it. Treat yourself. Now it's not the time for to be shopping. Carpet DM. That's what I say. That's not... Never mind. A large trunk with a sturdy lock. It's empty inside. I just opened it. Okay. It's not coming out until... I'm not coming out until those things are gone. What the hell? Monkey paws all come... All came to life. Not feeling so lucky now. I hope they're right. Citywide aren't all undead related. Less worry, more scary. Get rid of them. Hello. Well, one careful swipe and... Okay, I got them all. That was easy. I'm not coming out until those things are gone. Fine. I think I'll try something else. 
I think I'll try. Did I? I thought this place had layers of... Oh, right, yes. Can I leave? No. Oh, right. Yeah, I opened a trunk for a reason, didn't I? And there should be gone now. The game just froze up a bit. That's this area. <laughs> Locked down. Thank goodness, you came, officers. I don't know how else I'd have escaped. You guys, they couldn't send some other cops? The whole force is busy. This is harassment. You called us. Hello again, Wang. Wang? Who's Wang? My name is, uh, Detective McQueen. Hmm, looks like we got the wrong guy. What happened there? My lucky rabbit's foot, the monkey paws, the body out back. They all started moving. Body out back? I never said that. You got no proof. Julie, you hear him? Hmm? What's happening? I tuned out. You were asking so many questions. All this started not long after my store was robbed last night. We found those gremlins in the end, Wang. Not in my shop, you didn't. You sold them to Dooley. I couldn't have sold him something that doesn't exist. Wink. You just said wink to me. No, I didn't. Wink. Tell me more about the robbery. Last night, some goons floated in. They smashed the place up and took some entirely legal ritual components. Ritual components doesn't sound legal. Good thing for me that the evidence was stolen then. Floated in. Yep, floated in a green haze. That sounds like Darksiders to me. I don't think we'll find anything else here. Dooley, I'm not sure what Darksiders are doing here, but we need to get to the next crime scene. To the mansion we go! We have reports of a break-in at the Don's old mansion. Let's check it out. Detective, the city is in chaos. Surely we've been, we got, we have better things to focus on than a derelict building. We don't know who they are or why they broke in. This mansion belonged to a mafia, Don. For all we know, there's a hidden weapon cache in there. Given how crazy things are across the city today, whatever they want, we have better make sure they don't get it. It might even be the Don himself, as he is probably dead and have been resurrected due to what we have seen earlier, being a combination of uh, ritualistic things from a china shop, a curse from an Egyptian god, and whatever is in this place. We may or may not have the Darksiders to blame. Either way, ooh, look, a sandcastle. Was that a good use of police resources and time? No. Was it fun? Yes. And that's all that matters. Ooh, palm trees. He must have been doing pretty well for himself to have a beachside house with palm trees. Maybe crime does pay after all. I mean, it pays, duly until you get caught. These things remind me of some of the people we met under our cases. Yes, yes they do. You said a Don owned this place? Like a Mafia Don? Yep. One of the most feared men in the country, Al Capone. He terrorized people for all sorts of things, but we could never prove any of it. And the resemblance to persons living or dead are purely coincidental. I see, yes, of course. We do not take any credit. What got him in the end? Tax evasion. With a C, I might, I might note. You don't do tax evasion. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done tax evasion, I promise. He swerved to avoid a truck and thumbtack. Oh, never mind, I I was very wrong. I should have continued reading this, this is pun based. I have failed. He swerved to avoid a truck of thumbtacks, and we got him on a dangerous driving charges. He died in prison, and this place has been condemned ever since. Oh, right, that's the thing I just did. I forgot I, I had talked to... Ooh, the sea. I wonder where Nigel ever swam off to. Nice try, Detective. But I'm not giving up his location to a government stooge. Dooley, I helped him escape, and you're a govern... Don't even try, Detective. My guard is up. 
U-P-P. Ah. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at the sign. It says, Stay up. Luckily, the law doesn't apply to us. Duly, the law does apply to us. Just not in this particular case. Also, I can't read. There we go. Simple. That's how you get through everything. Let's get inside, detective. What's the best that can happen? Um, death. Probably. Oh, a sign. A condemned sign. I don't see why it's condemned. Looks like a perfectly fine sign to me. These boarded windows make it hard to see much inside. This must belong to whoever is in there. This stuff looks dangerous. I better power it down for now. Ooh, a battery. Convenient. It doesn't do anything since I removed the battery. Easy. Okay, we're going in. Sir, you can't be here. This place is condemned. Brains. That's not right. Okay, I have no idea what voice to give him, so I'm gonna give him this. Is there somebody there? Yes. Are you okay? I'd be a lot better if I wasn't trapped in here by that thing. <laughs> Hold on. We'll do something. We cut the rope. Ooh, a painting. Don Capone. That's one mean-looking monster. He was also mean acting. Do you think those two facts are related? No idea. You know, this place isn't so bad. A lick of paint, some new furniture, get rid of the maniac butler, and it could be a nice HQ for urban blood wolfing. You do that. What a potentially convenient located table. This seems to be the rope that holds the chandelier in place. It seems to be stuck. Now that's a large chandelier. Jeez, if that dropped on someone, somebody, it really hurt. Yes. A surprisingly tame couch for a mob boss to have in his house. Let's go and get something to cut that rope with. Nice place. A little too much decay for my taste, though. That is what time does with a condemned place, Dooley. That is what time does. It was sick. That liquid is so dark and stinky I wouldn't put my hand in her. In there for any reward. Or perhaps a new hand. No knives, scissors, or other sharp objects. What a convenient inconvenience. My one plan failed. I can't open this one. I wonder what treasures are inside. Not enough to force it open, however. Various supplies, including candles. I think I'll take one. I like candles. I see, I'm going to be lighting a candle since I can't cut it. We could use these at the Blood Wolf camp. Somebody ruined our pots by melting marshmallows all over them. Uh, what? Somebody... What? what uh, those monsters... I'd never. Somebody half cleaned this cup. I'm sure they won't mind me taking their sponge. Oh, steel wood sponge, I see. Ooh, an oven. There are remains of a long forgotten roast chicken in her. It is not edible, Dooley. Ah. <coughs> oh, what a, what a stink. Somebody forgot to clean out the fridge when this place was condemned. Anything in there that I can eat? Julie, it's all rotten. But I'm so hungry! You made things sound so urgent, so I skipped second breakfast. This is urgent, Julie. Fine, but after all this, you're buying me pancakes. I would actually like pancakes myself. So I will take that offer. Now, can I... Blood wolf trick combine a battery with steel wool to make a fire starter. Little L, Emily taught me that. That's possible. Okay, I was correct in that being a horrid thing that I could do. Okay, and then I combined those two to start it. If I like this while it's still in my pocket, I'd burn my coat. My precious, precious coat. Okay, never mind, I have to get it on the table. Let's just leave this there. And then let's just set fire to it. This should be able to burn through the... I should have talked to the butler. I forgot about that. Whoops. This should be able to burn through this rope. In a suitably slow and dramatic fashion. Bro. That's very fast, holy. It's safe. Uh, it's safe to come out now. 
Detective, is now a good time to mention I'm allergic to fire? We all are. Oh. Rexa? You guys, I owe you big time. What are you doing here? Actually, for no reason, no reason at all, we should go outside before you tell us. Did we leave a light on in there? Well, it's perfectly safe to go back in. Let's not. We should talk to Raxa instead. For no apparent reason. Saving Raxa has made me feel all warm inside. And by warm inside, I mean warm outside. On the side that faces the house. I hope my equipment is okay. Thanks for saving me back there. Are you okay? I am, thanks to you guys. What's up with a get up? I'm an inspector. I'm an inspector now. Since I kept finding myself at weird goings on, I licensed myself a franchise. And there was a localized storm here last night, so I knew that meant something was happening after the events at the library. Good catch. Is this your equipment? It is. It's a spook -o spooktometer. Do you like it? It reads for spooktivity. I brought it with me to help get readings. What is with just putting spook in front of all the equipment? But I got trapped in that room and didn't get to look at the readings yet. Trapped by that creature? Later, yes, but not at first. There were people here searching the place. Their accents were hard to understand, but they were looking for the Don. But he's been dead for a while. Yeah, they left when they realized that. I waited a while to make sure they didn't come back. But then that thing burst out of the floor and was, and I was trapped again. What did the reading say? That's odd. The battery is missing. <laughs> I've no idea how the recording actually will pick up, or this stuff will pick up my whistling. I do apologize if that was too bad. I actually have to test that out later. I have no, I've got another task to do. Let's go. Thankfully, there's a printout inside. Give me a second while I open it up. Wow, that's the spook troll readings. However, whatever was looking for the Don, they weren't human. Dooley, I just figured it out. Darksiders aren't looking for something at the Don's house, they are looking for the Don himself. But you said he was dead. Which is why they took the gem of Osiris and the ritual components. They're trying to resurrect him. Wow, detective. What an amazing coincidence that every place the chief sent us was tied in so tightly with what's really going on. We had se been sent to even one different location. You may have never pieced it all together. There's no time to work out the undoubtedly small probability of things having worked out like this. We need to get to the graveyard, and fast. We can't let him return. And I am just that good either way. You should probably leave too, Raxa. Because of that fire you started? Fire? What fire? You must be seeing things. Probably start from being inside. Bad for the mind. Make sure to eat something when you leave, which you, which you should do now for food, not fire. Le leave for food, immediately. <coughs> I think that went smoothly. No fire, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Let's go to the graveyard. It's ve a very localized mission. Like every part of it, you will always have exactly what you need for the one location. You can't leave the location until you're done. Ooh, squad car. This is Detective McQueen. We have tracked the source of all this through a graveyard, requesting backup. Earths are scattered across the city. There's no but able to help your your own detective. Okay, so this can be read as resources scattered across the city. Something. Nobody reliable? Available to help. You're on your own, detective. Very uncertain, actually. City. There's nobody available. Okay, there we go. I have decoded what was said. Right. Looks like it's just you and me, Dooley. McQueen and Dooley solving crime while looking coolly. I like you, detective. But make our point? It's a bit too much. I wonder if we can get an overview of the situation from her. It's what I feared. The place is warmed with zombies. These must be the Darksiders we'd heard about. They got Darkside guns. 
They're firing at somebody inside a church. I can't make out who, though. Look, Dooley, over there. There's some bad mumbo jumbo at the crypt. We need to stop them from bringing the Don back. How do we get down? Ah, by going to the graveyard. Okay, Dooley, let's go. Uh, yeah. Rawr. No doubt about it. The zombie's all right. Looks like we're not getting in that way. Maybe leaving the lights on wasn't the best way to sneak up on this place. Might need this nightstick to keep the welcoming party at bay. No. I wasn't expecting that. Past the Farrelly. Hey! Rose! I need help! I'm being confronted with dangers to both my physical self and my dogmatic views on the universe, uh... There's somebody trapped in the church. If we don't get in and help them, they'll be zombie fodder. I can't believe I'm entering a rival parish, the thing I do for this job. I hope that gate holds. They're far too eager. A welcoming party. They're a bit too much for me, honestly. Let's see, and let's go to the right. Move to the right. When all this is done, I might look into a safe job like garbage disposal. Are you kidding? The government have spies all over landfills digging through our trash. Actually, that I could believe. The wall is too high to jump over. Duly, give me a boost. I would, detective. But I put my back out in the gym this morning. We're going to have to find another way. Here's one for you, Dooley. How many cops does it take to change a light bulb? No idea, but thankfully it's working, so not Arkansas. Also, streetlights fall under the city maintenance department and not the police. I thought you know that, detective. My perfect joke. It's covered by a massive dumpster. I wonder if there's another manhole on the other side of the wall. If we can get this into position, we can get over the wall. Uh, it's stuck. The se wheel seems to be rusted. We have to move on. Never mind, we can't move on. Can I? I think I'll try something else. Fair enough. Doesn't seem like it to be working. I can't be moving that one. Can I then... No, I can't move to the left. Can I whack them? Get back, you monsters! Finally, a positive application for police brutality! <laughs> well, it's hand broke off, but it doesn't seem to care. We might need another way in. Ooh, a free hand! Mine. I don't think that will help pushing me the answer. Doesn't look like it's working. Nothing seems to be happening. Boop. That's still rusted. Can't reach that one because it's covered. Uh. Throw that on the bell. Nope. Put it in the car. Alright, okay. There's something I am missing. Oh, wait, did it say... No, we'll move to the left. Okay. Ooh, water tower. A water tower in a graveyard? Odd. That's for low-budget holy water. The priest can bless it after a heavy rain. Actually clever. Oh, right, I can look in the dumpster. I am an idiot. What a load of rubbish! Oh look! I need one of those for my house! That plank might be useful. Nope, it's infestible termites. Not putting that in my pocket. It appears to be a box of stew. Is it warm? C no, Dooley. You could not eat the old box of stew. Aww. An old can. I could use that to oil the wheels, but I can't reach it. How convenient that I have an arm's extra reach. Okay, in position. Now to squeeze this muscle and... Got it. Let's try. I am very good at this. I shouldn't be. Whoops, I shouldn't do that on that one. I want to do it on the dumpster. Okay, that's the wheel to load up. Let's push this into position, Dooley. Okay, Dooley. I'll go over the wall. You go through the sewers. Hopefully, that way, one of us can save those people and stop the Don from being brought back. Have I mentioned that I don't like to... Not to time, buddy. The city needs us. 
I know. Hey, detective? Yeah? Be careful. You too, buddy. You too. I have abandoned Dooley. Oh! Oh. I think I just felt the finger of God. Keep your hands for yourself, citizens. These buns are on duty. Keep your hands. Move it along, citizen. Hey, don't poke my butt. Okay, we have seen them all. I'm actually playing as Dooley. That I was not ready for. Now, doubt this secret bolt hole for government informants. Informants. That's how you say that. That way is blocked up by a large gate. What secrets are you hiding, Gate? When all this is done, I'm doing it. going to launch an investigation into you. I'll call it Gate Gate. Investigate the gate, 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 gate. Ooh, pipes. This is how the government pumps dihydrogen monoxide into our homes. Monsters. Yes. Water. Actually, I had no idea what that actually is. I... Like dihydrogen monoxide. I, I've heard it, and I'm annoyed by not knowing what that is right now. I'm gonna be end up like this is another thing I'm gonna end up having to look up afterwards. Is I I look up these things afterwards. I need to know. Oh, this is why Dooley went this way. Don't poke my bat. A TV show on urban legends. What nonsense. That's stupid. Hey, little guy. What are you doing down here? Yes. Watching the stories. Let me be. A gator? In the sewers? Watching TV? Well, that story checks out to me. Enjoy, mister. Just keep an eye out for cannibals. And just the same. Yeah. Dooley just let these things be. Because Dooley is not... Uh... Oh, no. Not the floaty float. This box holds all the power in the city. Electrical and political. That is a powerful box. It has political power. Ooh, a boat. That boat's not the only thing floating down here. There's also a balloon. Pound smart. Hi, Dooley. Aren't you gonna sing? Hello? One second there, guy. What's a clown down doing? What's a clown doing down here? This is a circus. I give balloons to wayward kitties. Do you know? And, uh... Yes, cotton candy and rides. And all sorts of um, surprises down there. Surprises? Did I mention the balloons come in all colors? Hmm. I see no harm in any of this. Good on for you. Making sure those lost kids aren't frightened. Thanks. As you are. You too. Yes, yeah, just casual evil clown. Now, this is going to be the one part I feel like Dooley is going to have a problem with for some reason now. Gents, interesting sign you have there. Uh, thanks. What, uh, what are you working on? I swear, repairing the power lines. You've noticed all those flickering lights across the city recently? We're going to fix that. That sure is great. A great excuse. Do you think I'm an idiot? Eh? I see your sign. That's an inverted eye. You guys are eye masons. Refrigerate. What? No. The other one. Freeze! I mean, I meant freeze! This is why so many of my TV dinners spoil. Because I keep freezing them. Drop your stuff and get out of here. I'd arrest you, but I have places to be. What are you talking about? We're just here to fi- Resisting arrest, is it? Yes, we got a lesson to officer and take rest of day uh, off the entire race. Sure. It'll be nice to go and get home to the family early for a change. Now that the low criminal scum has been removed, I can continue looking at the hole in the wall. I wonder what nasty business they were up to. Digging a hole to the planet hidden in... Spider planet, perhaps? Or building a lair 
but illicit people who secretly rule over us. Maybe they were planning to sacrifice something to the Mole Man. Whatever it was, it's been thwarted by me, Officer Dooley. Ooh, a Kangle Hammer. I'll confiscate this so they can't return to whatever shady business they were at. Hi. This crooks left their sinister sign behind. Devilish debris from a cunning foe. Let's move on. Your gates. This gate is blocked. This gate has blocked me from going any further. If only there was a way past it. When life gives you lemons, smash those lemons with a hammer, then send the lemons carcasses back to life so it knows not to mess with you again. And this is the last time I'm telling you life. Stop it. <laughs> Meanwhile, McQueen. Well, that was easy. Crushed by Rider's Block. I'm so sorry, McCabe. What a... Uh, Raid McCabe. Risa McCobb. Drowned in a stack overflow. Oh, no. Paul Bearer Conway. Painted himself into a corner. Oh, dear. Chris Goulston. Eaten alive by bugs. Okay, that's the most horrid one. Nobody heard what happened to him. Ben Haunty. Ouch. Let's go to the shed. What's the worst gonna happen? Well, the game froze. The game didn't froze. Smithy. We've been breached. Charge! Oh, wait. 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 Frankie, I do apologize. I thought you were the hunt. Come to munch on my brain for military secrets. But I can tell you're a Yankee boy. It's in the stance, not rigid enough, shoulders like a melted ice cream on a sunny Sunday morning. Uh, right, okay, gas mask. This seems obscure enough to be useful. Hands off, old boy, those hunts outside smell dreadful, does. That mask is only my only protection from their smell. Ah, boots, in my size. Like them, old chap. They yours belong to a sergeant of mine in the war. Um, thanks. Wait a second. These aren't normal boots. They got metal sockets in them. He had mechanical legs, needed special shoes that could click on. It's why I have no use for them. Hmm, how generous. That's a nice helmet. It's poor form to comment on an out of mass piece, old chap. Entrenching shovel. I'm afraid you can't have that, old chap. I need it to bash zombies. Fritz should he... Fritz should he try to enter my bunker. Zombie Fritz. Specifically that one zombie. I see. So nice and warm are not a reason to not want to go back up there. Built it myself from plain parts after I was shot down here during the Great War. I say Great War, but I really... But really it was a mediocre at best. I've seen better. All oh, right, it's the grave digger. Can I help you, old bean? How are you? Who are you? Who are you? Yeah, that makes more sense than how. How are you? I've been worse. I mean, I'm missing an arm. We are surrounded by uh, Hun and uh, zombies and uh, all that stuff. But other than that, I have a nice cozy flame. And uh, I am Brigad Brigadier Reginald Smith. Smithy to my friends. You are now my friend. Of course, I have no friends. No time for friends in the army, eh? Surely you're not still in the army. My dear chap, when you sign up, you sign up for life. How long have you been here? Blimey, I don't jolly well know. Crashed here as a young man, took a job as a gravedigger, as I wasn't a citizen. All happened some time ago, should I, I should imagine. Are you okay? You look like you've been through a lot. This, this is just a scratch. You should have seen the Hun when we were done with them. You're a military man, can you help gear me up for the fight? Helping with the war effort? Found Spiffy, I still have my military kit. Let's see. That's my mess tin. Don't think seems messy enough here already. A water bottle, but it's been shut up. A ground sheet. Hmm, a sheet would probably be more use if it hasn't been ground up. 
It's not looking good, old chef. Well, I'll tell you what. Take my gas mask. It's over there on the shelf. Thanks. Anything to stop Fritz in his tracks. Goodbye. Toodle pip. Now be careful with that. Probably still has some mustard gas cacked into it. Where was this when I was hunting down the, those gremlins? Very useful. Goodbye, crazy man. Now, what will I find with the crypt? Ah, that. Look here, Slim, we got us a stray zombie. Eh, yes, yeah, stray. Fire, at a, fire a few rounds to chase it off and be thankful that we ain't got a horde to deal with. Eh, yeah, horde. Oh dear. Meanwhile. No, oh, never mind. Ah, I can go this way. I hope this structure is sturdy, because a piece of this could be proven handy. I mean, this piece clearly didn't look like it was actually attached to anything, so that's fine. These le the legs of this tower look badly damaged. Convenient. Can I... This scaffolding is a perfect fit. Yeah, I believe I'm making a fake... I, I am 100% making a fake. I'm liking this. Ooh, water tower. The moon. At another crime scene, hey moon, I think it's time we had a little talk down at the station. I'm taking you in after this. Of course, that is as long as it hasn't started becoming daytime, as you tend to run away at that point. It seems to be full of rainwater. Yes, yeah, sounds like it. Let's go down again. Brains. I can't pass by. I can't. I can't pass by them. But maybe I can find a way to go over them and get them through that broken window. Rawr. I, I need to get out of here before they, I get munched on. Would be very inconvenient. Can a gas mask go on? Just like that, he's working. Unless there's a gas, I'm not putting this thing on. Maybe I can find a better use for it. Yes, okay. Do I have someplace else I can go? I would just have zombie noises in the background. Could I have the helmet? That's like, no, I can't hold the helmet. Okay, that's fair enough. Just have zombie sounds now in the background. Very much fun. And they're just still the same thing. Okay, so if I go too far there, I can't do anything. If I go over here, I'm just getting this one and get thrown back. Okay, so I have to deal with zombies first of all. Do I have a way of... Oh, oh pipe. I guess it's for excess water to run into the sewers. Ah. Oh. I, I thought maybe I could give something to Sewer Boy, but uh doesn't seem like I can. Let's see, there's nothing on this water tower that I'm missing, is there? No. So talk to the moon. Leave me alone. Legs are badly damaged still. Okay. This mission has gone very well for me until this point when I am lost. Because those don't fit, so I don't know how to do, what to do with those. Oh. Okay. Then. Ah, stilt. Okay. I see. I see. That's how I get in. They can't get me at all the way up there. Oh. Brains. Brains. They can't get me, but they're still blocking the door. So I'm going through the window. The dark side goons shut out a window, giving me a handy way in. Agent McScream, what are you doing here? What are any of us doing? What are any of us doing anywhere? Helpful as ever. I need to save whoever is trapped in the bell tower, then figure out the plan to get the crypt and stop the ritual. What are you doing now? I circled a wounded barking at a beast that would feast on a carry. Um, that's still not helpful. I'm going to presume you mean I'm here because other Darksiders are here. Presumptions is the mother of dragons. What a dick. 
It's not safe to go back out there. Yet. Let's go to the altar. Oh. Chief Ghoulie! Ugh. What's going on here? What are you doing in the bright side? Ugh, me innards. Are you okay? Been shot, son. Right in the gut. So it was you and McScream those goons were shooting at? That it were, son. Burning up from the inside out, I am. Dark side bullets is not like yours. What will... What with them being full of cursed components, as it were. What can I do to help? Can we remove the bullets? Can it be removed normally, son? I need some purified water to wash them the badness out. I'll have a look around. As you were then, son. Goodbye. Oh, it hurts. Oh, a sensor. The sensor is full of old, caked in, moldy smelling incense. Those candles are bigger than my head. Hey there, any chance of a miracle? No? Right. Didn't expect that. Okay, we're going into the vestry. Ooh, calendar. Uh, Blocky Dog's calendar. My favorite. Pens, letter opener, some reading glasses with the lenses popped out. Like letter opener. I have a blade now. Ooh, a chair. I wish I had a nice chair like this back in the office. I couldn't confiscate this with a case, could I? No, 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 I'm not duly. Could I, though? No. Well... No. Later. It has the core religions text from all major faiths, and a note saying, just in case. I mean, be prepared. It's a heavy-duty shredder. It could probably even tear up clothes. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, I tried. Get back, demon bro! Great, I'm soaked. Actually convenient. I like it when it's raining because I need to be soaked. Gnarly! I thought you were a hollowhead. To wipe out of mine, bro. Right, do you have a towel I can borrow? An assortment of extreme sporting goods from scuba tanks to hang gliders and ugly face paint. Why do you have all that? Dude, I like the extreme to the max. And you can't extreme to the max without painting your face. But the scuba tank is a bust. I lost the birthpiece. I'm gonna throw it out. Hmm, mind if I take it? Sure, dude. Enjoy. Ba -ba 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 -ba. The mask should ho hold up as a replacement for breeding apparatus. For a few minutes, at least. I knew it. I knew it. Shiny belt. Thanks, I polish it myself. Sorry for the water. Wash out, dude. Wash out, dude. What's that about? Hollowheads that like holy water, my friend Amigo. Turns them into mush burgers. Good to know. I have some holy water. Far out, dude. Happy to share the Lord's liquid. Don't say it like that. I'm way low right now. Wasted my last wipe, wipe out on you. But you can have my dregs, but dude, it's not enough to mush a hollow. No, but it's enough to heal my friend. I came to save you. Are you okay? Given the circumstances, I'm happy to be topside and not drowning in a swell of undead. We need to get out of here. If you can cause a break in that wave of undead, I can get myself out, dude. Huh. How will you... How will I do that? Like the surfer listens to the sea, maybe you should listen to the dead. That... Actually, that might work. Good idea. The Lord speaks through me, bro, Seth. Right. Where did all the sports go? I was meant to be doing an extreme sports holiday, but I stayed to bless some babies. Bro, I'll not make that mistake again. I'll never bless a baby ever in my life. Right, goodbye. Sayonara, dude. An arigato for that help, though. Right, here, uh, Mr. Gooley. Use this to wash out the wound. Much better. Thank you, son. Thank you for that, son. Feel better now? 
Much better. Ready to fight to force this evil once more. I knew I was right about you. Good egg, this one. Goodbye. Good day, son, and guards. Speed. Why do you keep splitting? Uh, never mind. I spoke with Ghoulie. Does he still fester in the pits of agony? He's recovering now. Only if you, you consider getting better to be recovering. Um, I should investigate the area and decide what to do next. As must we all. It's just safe to go back up there. My makeshift entrance, I can still hear the zombies outside. Brains, 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 get them here while they're hot. Brains, brains, ready and all, young, old, mostly dead, probably not for a living. Get them while they're fresh. Brains? Brains! We have brains! Sounds like they're arguing. If only I could understand them. I see, I need, I need a way to understand zombies. How, how would I understand zombies? What could I use to understand them? What can I use to understand them? What can be used to understand a bunch of stupid zombies? Do, 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 do. I have a knife. Why do I have a nether opener? I don't understand. Okay, we just have a same old conversation. That doesn't help me. What? Uh, oh, okay. I don't know what I did there, but, but I did it. Sometime later. That was easier than I thought. Okay, I'm gonna have to check the VODs on this one later to figure out what was said, because... What? Everything is easy for ignorant. Hey! Okay, let's find out what those zombies are saying. Oh, okay, okay. So it is something that I didn't actually catch him saying, but... After me having confirmed that, hey, I, I need to understand their language... He has given me a way to understand it, I guess. Okay, let's try this again. Brains, brains, brains. Brains? Brains! They seem angry and confused. If I could disguise myself as one of them, I think I could unionize them and lead them away from the church. I'd find a way to make myself look like, look and smell less alive. That's easy. If I can find a way to scrape some of it loose, I could use it to mask my lovely living smell. Well, we have a lead roll for that. And done. Why does that sting? Now. Sorry, coat, but I need to look more undeadish. I am surprised at how precise this coat got cut. Okay, let's try this again. Brains, 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 brains. Oh, right, yeah, I have to actually go out. I smell dead, my clothes look right, but I still look too alive to pass as one of them. What about this? I don't have a use for this one. Right, okay, I need something else. Oh, right, face paint. Do, do, do. An assortment of extreme sporting goods, like hang gliders and face paints. Can you use your face paints to make me look undead? I can do that! 110% bro! The cents only go up to 100... 110 bro! 110! Fine. Thank you, appreciate it. What do you think, Agent McStream? Hey, brains, brains, brains. Your brains, my good brains. Okay, I should be able to pass as one of them now. Shamble, shamble, shamble. Ooh, flowers. Those flowers do smell nice from her. Brains. 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 Brains, brains, brains. Brains? Brains, brains. Brains! Okay, they've agreed to unionize under my leadership. Time to go talk to the people who brought them back. Come forth, my army. We're fu Actually, I better not bring this lot into Smithy. Appreciate it, old chap. 
I'm actually surprised he recognized me. Mamma mia! It's a zombie horde! Run, Slim! <laughs> yeah, run! That was easy. Ooh, car keys. Oh, the goons must have dropped these before running off. Convenient. Driving away when I'm so close to stopping them seems like madness. It's still a good solid car. A will be tied. Anything that this crashed into. Now I want to talk to my minions. I can't, okay. I guess we're entering the crypt. Huh. Okay. Stop right there. Too late, Bright Cider. Ah, I live. He's no zombie, he's a human, you fools. Brains? Oh no. Destroy him! Brains! So, this is how it ends. Not but a bang, but with me whimpering. I think this is about to give. Dooley, he's trapped under the rubble with all those zombies. I need to save him. The priest said that the holy water turned them to mush. Where would I find enough, uh, enough of it? This must be the ritual paint taken from Wangs. They used it to paint those markings and summon cor corpse own soul into your dance, our dance body. Oh, right. Okay, okay. So that's why they wanted to do that. They wanted their own Don resurrected. Magical paint. Ooh, statue. A statue of Saint Monica, patron saint of being trapped in a spooky crypt with bad guys. Convenient. These must be the markings for the ritual to summon the Don from the dark side. I need to find a way over if I'm going to help Dooley. They're trapped down there with Dooley, but it's only a matter of time before one of them spots him. Uh, he's semi-conscious. Why aren't they trying to eat him? Brains! I see. They can't find it. I don't understand why a floating being needs a ladder to paint on walls. But I'm glad they do this. But I'm glad they do. This could make a possible walkway. That's just a uh, book. This should get me across. Wonderful. It's time to drive. Driving the car into the water tower would give me enough water, but I, it's not holy. Plus, Dooley would drown too. I need to fix those problems first. Ah, oh, right. This to keep Dooley alive. Okay. Step one, I need to talk to the priest. Priest, I need you to holdify the water. I need you to bless the water tower for me. Bro! Are you for real, bro? I've gotten all the undead into the sewers and need to flush them fast. I've been waiting to be asked to churn out that much good god juice, like literally forever. I love making god juice. You have a distinct way of talking about your fate. What can I say, bro? The Lord is my surf guy. We hang tight and I hang off. I want to bring the whole world out on the waves with us. But we, the Lord and I, take the sa take safety much so serioso. Take this life ring, with you, in case you get caught in the flood. A flood to wash the sinners away. Super biblical, bro. Super biblical. Right. Dude, bro, I'm gonna do that. Do my thing, bro. Made a big G be on your side. Well, I hope that he is, um... Not staying on the tower, because I'm gonna be making that tower fall. Let's go and just give this to Dooley. There you go, Dooley. Quickly, put this on, buddy. Oh, okay. Full. I think I'll try something else. Actually, should I just put this on Dooley as well? No, it won't work. Hopefully, the Scuba Gear will keep him safe, though. Now, can I do this? Okay, Dooley. Is ready? I'm ready. Are you ready up there, father? Gowabunga! I'll take that as a yes. Best of luck, dude. I'm off to my way, K. Oh, right, he had a hang glider. Extreme sport. The pedal's locked in place and the car is good to go. I hope my aim is true. Oof. Ah, 
And it worked. That's gonna get wet. Sploosh. Oh, It's just more sewage water. They turned out to mush. I hope that worked. I'm probably also gonna get in a lot of trouble for having done this much destruction. Hey, Dooley. You okay there, buddy? <coughs> Dooley. A little wet behind the ears, but I'm okay. Glad to hear it. Ah! You took my minions. I'll have to create new ones, starting with your friend. <laughs> Hold on, Dooley. Damn it, if only there was a way I could send the Don back to the dark side. Boop, 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 boop. No. Um, let's go. Uh, I'm not leaving Dooley that thing. That thing's grass. I think I'll try something else. Can I combine this? Yes, I can. Okay. I need to copy the ritual markings onto this ring to turn it into a makeshift portal. Oh, I'm making a portal. I see. I see. Okay. Well, this goes here. This goes here. Yes, yes. This goes there. I know patterns. This one goes there. Coolie, coolie, coolie. And we have this one down there. Ooh. Mystical. Mystical. This one up there. Then the last one would be you. Boom. Magic. Am I missing something? I'm missing one symbol, but I don't know which symbol. Just gonna try them all. No? Is that correct? Oh, that looks correct to me. Am I blind? That is a concern sometimes that I might be a bit too blind for my own good. That is the exact same one as that one. What am I missing? I can't take them off easily. All of them. Okay. I don't know what I did wrong. My improvised portal is ready for use. I just need to take careful aim. No! Got him. Enjoy your exile back to the dark side. You okay, Dooley? <laughs> I live, detective. Good. I was worried about you there for a minute, buddy. Let's get you out of those sewers. Now then, now then, now then. Now then, we have arrested the rest of his accomplices and locked him away. This uncooperated to reduce his sentence. To reduce his sentence. All oh, right, here. Cooperated to reduce his sentence. I see. Reverse ritual side effect of raised the dead in your city should be. Should be that all the undead is back to being plain old dead now. Good, because I had no idea how I was going to fix that. Seriously, I was very concerned about that. It was crazy dangerous, Magic Guy. I was young and innocent, easily misled. It happened a half an hour ago. I've grown a lot in that time. A new man ready for parole, I'd say. Anyway, we owe you for this, Bright Siders. You're welcome. I'd say any time, but let's make sure this never happens again, eh? Absolutely. Let's get to processing this lot, eh, Agent? Sometime later. Actually, before I'm going to read that, I'm going to read this part down here, because this is going to just end up with this going away. The problem is I didn't read it from the beginning. Okay, uh, we'll take it from here. Graveyard has two for one sale on newly available graves. Well, yeah, a lot of them were emptied. Proprietor of Mystic Knickknack Shop arrested while disposing of body. All oh, right, the body in back. Claims made 
Payne's police made him do it by discovering he was hiding it in the first place. Right, yeah, he made excuses. Idiot. Old Don's mansion burned down. Police say, no, it didn't. It never did. New detective survives riots on first day. Which is newsworthy. I promise. Apparently. Mayor claims she didn't run from the city during riots. She had just heard a phone ring ringing in a nearby state. Convenient. Okay, that's all of them. Dick Brookman here with Detective McKing, who just received a medal for stopping the riots across the city. Can you tell me, Dick Brookman, and them viewers of Dick Brookman, what happened, Detective? There were riots. There were riots across the city. And, uh, now there aren't. Like to the details, uh, Detective. Your wife is the mayor. Is that a conflict of interest? Nope. There you have it, friends. No conflicts and one fancy medal. Congratulations to the detective. After all that, I can't believe he got a medal instead of you, detective. They're saying that a water tower burst a few days prior and got tainted by dead bodies before leaking into the reservoir, giving everyone temporary madness. At least we know what happened. You're a hero, detective. Thanks, buddy. That means a lot. Case closed. Which is the final actual case, which is why we now get this. Detective Francis McQueen, as Francis McQueen, offers a Patrick Dooley as Patrick Dooley. The rest of the cast is v Vivian Moonman, very real actor, a Spooky Doorway, Akupara Games. Oh, there's a lot of stuff there. It's really fun. Like, this is just the main game, and then there's the three bonus missions. Disc 13 of 60, that's a lot of discs. I want all of them, please. It's been a lot of fun, just the main missions. I do wonder how different, potentially, the bonus missions are going to become. This is probably the only mission I'm going to be doing today. It took way longer than I expected, and due to the delays, I don't actually have as much time as I usually would have. So I unfortunately can't stream more than this. But I will be returning with this game 100% tomorrow. And hopefully on time tomorrow, where I'm planning on then doing all three of the bonus missions in one go. At least that is my goal of the day. In memory of Peter Farley. I hope I said that name correct. No pixels were harmed in the making of this game. Some wrists were carpal tunneled, however. Not important. Don't carpal tunnel your wrists, please. And a resemblance to actual persons, living or dead, or actual events in purely coincidental. Even the guy who are you are pretty sure you met to that budget cruise that one time and I've yes. The government wants you to know that this is a work of fiction, especially the stuff about ghosts and all that. Okay, I can't be re able to read all that. The unauthorized reproduction of all of any part of this production and the unauthorized use of registered trademark constitutes a criminal offense. You'll probably get away with it. Okay. The moon. Thank you, Spooky Doorway, for giving me this. It's been a blast, and it's gonna be more. Bye, Pastor. He's gone. Dark Side Detective will return in a fumble in the dark. Interesting. Was that a bonus chapter name? I don't remember. If it is, then that makes sense. If not, does this game have a sequel? Because I'm going to have to take a look into that, because I might have to add a game to my game library rather than Continues to playing through them as I'm doing now. Yeah, it, it's not one of the bonuses. Because that's by hard, poltergeist, and base motel. So. Tomorrow, I'm going to be doing 7, 8, and 9. At least, going to try and do 7, 8, and 9. And that's it for today, then.
I hope you enjoyed it as much as I have. One day I might be able to do reading and uh, voice acting uh, properly and not continuously stutter and stop in the middle of it, but uh, that's what practice is for. And uh, I find it enjoyable either way. So I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. The stream is done now for the day. The nose has no dark But look forward to another day when it once more.